What is going on, my everything? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap right on in. Remember, today is Jupiter Day, y'all. All right, the planet that's um, growing and expanding everything that you are asking for, clearing everything that, that's out the way. I mean, clearing everything out the way so you can finally experience pleasure. All right, so... Leave something out. Be thankful. Even a prayer. Even just a, a, a form of gratitude. All right. For this Thursday. All right. This is a perfect day to accomplish anything that you've been putting on a back burner. All right. This is a successful day. All right. A teacher. The teacher. The instructor. The philosopher. All right. And then the next card is lower class. Poverty. All right. So off the bat, you guys are in position to teach and guide people out of poverty. All right, you have a mission to teach about money, to teach about ancestors, to teach about life, to teach about purpose and beliefs and talents and gifts. You have a very important mission, all right, to bring a lot of people out of poverty by your wisdom. By your knowledge. All right. You are a master in your craft. All right. And your instructions are needed. All right. You you have you are a great instructor. All right. Um, somebody is uh in a lower class, somebody's dealing with a lot of poverty right now. All right, somebody is disposed of somebody could have even disposed of a child all right there might be a teacher that is observing how a child is coming to school even daycare Oh my gosh, the fall of civilization. This is greed, all right? The tower has fell, all right? This is ignorance, corruption, indulgence, and greed. All right, so this is about, this is about somebody being very selfish. All right, and ignorant even when it comes to their children. All right, even when it comes to their children. All right, somebody has fell from grace. All right, somebody was greedy. Somebody spent a lot of time doing a lot of corrupt things. All right, and not enough attending to their children. All right, they were living a life of poverty. All right, and somebody was over here being corrupted and ignorant and indulgent in all the wrong things. Somebody have may even disposed of a child because they were so worried about self. This is somebody where you'll see them fly and having all the money and the nice cars. And then you'll see their children looking crazy really looking like they hungry and all of that and then you like where is the money going what are you doing how you look nice how you in the finest things and your kids literally look hungry and you want to care for them you want to take the you want to take the children off these people hands type of energy somebody is falling from grace Oh my gosh. Somebody was trying to silence somebody. All right. Somebody was having it. Somebody was, uh, they had a secret agenda. All right. Somebody was into a lot of dark shit. It could even be, oh my gosh. For some of you guys. All right. Somebody could have had a secret business and trafficking children. And if somebody wasn't the leader, I'm getting like a madam. All right. I'm getting like a madam. 
okay, where they were trafficking children or dealing, dealing with children where they were deliberately trying to keep this on a hush because of some sort of secret agenda being pushed. Okay, they were kept, they were keeping people in the dark. For some of you guys, I'm sorry that I'm getting this energy. For some of you guys, they kept some sort of child in the dark, in a room, didn't feed them. You hear me? Kept telling the child to shut up or be quiet, trying to hide this child. Y'all, if y'all know somebody that's doing this to the child, take that child. It is fine for, for you to call authorities when it comes to stuff like this. Okay? Their secret has been exposed. And that's why the tower is falling. That's what I see, y'all. Spirit, give me more on this um, teacher. Who is this teacher? Who is this master? For some of you guys, they kind of try to home teach them so that way they don't go to school. Because why would you be telling? It's like this person was telling a child not to say nothing. They looking like they don't even have words. They can't even speak to say anything. All right. And if they are, if they are hungry, if they begging, it says beggar. All right. Disposed of. If you see a child like this, why are you even telling them to be quiet? Why are you telling them to keep it a secret? All right. This was about greed. Trying to build an empire off of lower class children. Dealing with a lot of ignorance. This is of their fall of civilization. Spirit, give me more on this teacher. Somebody was probably telling a child to be quiet about certain stuff. And they confided in a teacher. Oh my gosh, the Queen of Swords. So this could be an air sign. Spirit, who is this Queen of Swords? The Tower. That's the Fall from Grace. The tower has failed, y'all. Okay. The tower. All right. And don't this look like the child? All right. The page of swords to the queen of swords. That's like mother and child. All right. So it's looking like their mother. All right. Was, was supposed to be a wise teacher. A master teacher. All right, maybe they took that that instructive that instructor position way too way too literal, and instead of genuinely being a mom, they became just a teacher, like being looked at as a teacher instead of a nurturer. Because the Queen of Swords can be, you know, my way, or you know, I, I've learned. Again, I've learned because the Queen of Swords can be wise. So they're just very hard to negotiate with. All right, because they just feel like they know it all. And that's why they need to balance that out. That's the whole reason why it's justice. All right, needing to become the warrior of truth and learn how to use your heart. This is masculine energy. All right, and with this tower, something happened between a parent and a child. All right, the truth is looking like their child has spoke up about something. All right, maybe the child was feeling deprived of, of things that, that, that they are now aware that should have been given to them. And sometimes it's just love instead of being a teacher all the time. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe sometimes you need to be the student because I learn from my kids all the time too. But there has been an explosion, an argument where it was an altercation or communication going back and forth between a parent and a child. And when I say the truth came out, somebody was honest about their greed. Somebody was honest about their ignorance, all right, and their corruption. And I feel like they've been, as, you know, as this child got older, it was, they were a baby at first. So as this child got older, they were able to stand up to this parent and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. Okay, it takes a lot of bravery because this is not a child no more. This is probably like a teenager or a early 20s or something like that. All right, the page of was, but they are going to say the truth. And this is not a child that's acting out and trying to be disrespectful. They are literally saying the truth and it's causing a towel because the truth hurts. Okay, look, the page of wands, that's that childlike energy, very brave, all right, feels very confident in their truth, all right? There's something about the teachings that this child is learning that that is not true. Thank you, spirit. That's what's going on. This has something to do with a parent and a child, a queen of swords and the page of swords, all right? And I feel like as a child, all right, they may have suffered a lot of lack. They may have um, been in a lower class, but they're realizing that the teachers, the teachings, all right, that this Queen of Swords was teaching them is somewhat not true. And it's been causing them a lot of delays and a lot of lack and a lot of confusion. Okay, they are challenging their parents' belief systems. And what they feel to be true and know what's right. Okay? They're realizing that the instructions coming from... And then I feel like this page of swords really considered their parent as a master. As a real knowledgeable person. Alright? But certain things require your heart. And not just books and stuff like that. Okay? And I think that that's what the page of swords is letting somebody know because the page of swords is very thirsty for knowledge and they're gonna find out the truth or what's right they are on a journey of discovery and information so the page of swords will challenge your belief and challenge what you're saying because nine times out of ten they did a lot of research and they know what's right and this is causing an explosive challenging argument because they can't challenge this um their child because their child has their own beliefs and their child is speaking the truth that's what's going on y'all all right spirit give me more of this poverty in this lower class dispose of a beggar um for some of you guys that's what they've been telling this person to keep quiet about uh, this child know a lot about the corruption or the fucked up shit that this queen of swords was trying to hide and I feel like they was taught and programmed to keep secrets. And this page of swords is realize, realizing in the world because these kids are smart nowadays. They watch Tarot too. <laughs> All right. So they're realizing like, why do I have to keep being sneaky about things? Why don't you want me to be honest about certain things? All right. And I'm being, I'm being guided to tell the truth. And when you keep a lot of family secrets between you and your child that is really, really hiding something, all right, and expect them to really hold that and put all that responsibility on them when it's a lie or when it's corruption, because that's what it was. It's greed. This is coming out from their child. Their child is standing up to them and saying, this is not the right way. I'm not supposed to be being kept quiet because of your secret agenda. That is a lot of responsibility to put on a child trying to cover up your shit when you're supposed to be the warrior of truth. That's what's going on. A lot of things that this person was telling their children to be quiet about, all right, they're realizing like that is not good and, and, and what they was doing is corrupt and foul and greedy, all right, indulging in their own shit. Yup. 
That's what's going on, y'all. Spirit, give me more on this um, poverty, this child, this baby. Oh, my gosh. Trapped. So, for a lot of you guys, all right, somebody felt trapped having a child. All right, somebody felt trapped having a child and maybe as the years went by, they might have lost themselves. All right, Spirit, give me more on this nine of swords. Why is, why is they in a nine of swords about this child? They, they couldn't balance out. All right, they may have lost themselves in their personal life and taken care of the child. May They may have been struggling or they might be struggling with their finances like something is not stable but a lot of them all right whoever this queen of swords is because they wasn't stabled because they they created like a a entrapment in their mind all right they was tempted into being greedy and doing a lot of corrupt shit and trying to hide it because you would never think the Queen of Swords was doing something like this. They know how to lie. You hear me? And keep it secured. Because they be acting shit like this. They children. And they was willing to do anything to make themselves not look like what they was really going through. So they decided to do a lot of corrupt shit and do a lot of foul shit. Probably even say a lot of foul shit. And this child is realizing, like, it's not fair and it's not right. Somebody, this queen of swords was going through personal problems. The two of pentacles is personal. All right? You got to find out what balance in your life when it comes to your personal life, when it comes to your ideas, when it comes to your resources. All right? This nine of swords is a personal problem. That's in your mind. All right? But that, ch that child doesn't deserve to even... Be brought into no bullshit like this. Okay, literally. Spirit, give me more on this greed and this corruption. This is the fall of civilization. As, as we are going through economy issues and stuff, this person is not qualified to do certain stuff. And they realize it like they, they, they haven't been successful with their teachings. The King of Swords. This is a family, y'all. This family is falling. All right? This family is being aware of a lot of stuff within this family. But I feel like for the father, too. The father is in a position where they might be being greedy, too. All right? Or did some type of acts. All right? Or just not in a state where they could be teaching anybody. All right? So it is this page of swords that is breaking that cycle of any type of lack or wrong or untruthful or deceit or corruption or lies. They're not living a lie no more. All right. They're breaking that cycle with the ace of swords. It's free. It's broken. That's a breakthrough. All right. This is a family king of swords right under the greed. Look, justice. This page of swords is going to receive justice because the page of swords didn't ask to come here. All right, they bring this page of swords in. So why would the page of swords have to deal with the disaster, the economy not working out, the tower moments, these people in their head about bills? All right, these people falling from grace because now all the corrupt activities and the indulgence is catching up to them. God is not going to allow the page of swords to go through that because it is up to the page of swords to learn from this, to be the seeker of all this and to see what's truthful about this whole thing and to see the underlying details about the instructions that they was told to do to break free from that okay and create justice and know what's right and be fair okay this is about being fair and let me tell you whatever that's being said by this page of swords y'all it's really fucking somebody up because it's fucking with their emotions Somebody is speaking speaking facts about their parents, y'all. They are feeling very, very brave. They standing on business. This page of swords is not gossiping. They are standing on business. They are being fear and they are they are saying the truth. 
okay? And a three, the five of cups got somebody in their feelings, all right? Because look, what I told you, all right? This page of swords is fresh. They are new, all right? They are here to learn and observe and create the justice that they was deprived of or create justice in other people's lives that was getting done dirty because of these two motherfuckers. This page of swords got a new beginning, all right? And it was up to them to build strength. And they built strength by saying the truth, by speaking up, all right? By setting healthy boundaries, all right? By not no longer um, holding a secret agenda or pushing this secret agenda. This page of swords is very strong in spirit. They are lion hearted. They are very courageous, all right? And they are a warrior, okay? And it was built for this shit, to observe these people, to not be like them, okay? They have a new start. They are a risk taker. All right, and they are here. They are one of the souls that are here to challenge the beliefs, to populate the earth, and are very wise and ancient. Yup. So it was this page of swords that have been passed down to spiritual gifts. All right, these two cards are major icon with the justice. This page, of, this page of swords is coming out very spiritual. All right, or has the potential to become like a judge or somebody in leadership of an authority of decision makings. They are very, very in a prom as a risk taker. All right. You know, taking calculated risk. All right. And I feel like they had to learn that because with these two, they had to be secret about that. So it wasn't give and take risk. Okay. So this person had to learn this page of swords is very strong. Whoever they are, this child is very strong. And they was meant to surpass the limitations that they fam that they parents had on them. All right, they per this person is strong. This person has spiritual gifts, and they've been chosen to take these gifts and experiment with them, be a master, okay, and bring fairness. That's why, thank you, Spirit. That's why they was raised in this Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Page of Swords family because they had to be the justice. They had to stop it. They had to observe this and not be like this for real. Sometimes you choose your parents, not because they bad at anything, but just to observe what not to do and how to change the dynamic of that unfairness or secretive energy. All right, look, lover's card. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this secret agenda. This page of swords is very strong, smart and strong. They're coming out as a strength and they're not a fool. They, they, that's what they thought. This king and queen of swords thought that this page of swords was a fool. And they're not a fool. They're very, very smart. And I, it's like they're learning about spirit. All right. This page of swords is in a whole nother path of enlightenment than these, 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 these parents. All right. It's looking like this page of swords is at a new stage in their life learning about spirit. All right. So they go and know what's fair and what's right. All right, spirit, give me more on this secret agenda, this secret being exposed, some type of secret of fear, all right, being kept in the dark. It's a whole lot of secrets. Oh, my gosh, this is the page of cups. This is that child. All right, they know that this child loved them. For some of you guys, all right, they could have another child. I don't know. But I'm getting, they was communicating with this child, playing on their emotions. Imagine... Telling your child that's young, the page of cuffs and it's page of swords. These, this is young energy. This is like child. So like, imagine telling your child, your sweet child that love you so much because it's looking like this child loved their parents until they started to become aware of the function. So imagine you are manipulating your child because you know how much they love you. And you're teaching them, oh, if you love me so much, you got to do this and you got to do that. You got to keep quiet. Because if you say something, that means that you're not loyal. They were telling their child to keep secrets. That's not a, I mean, it's good to keep secrets, but not the secrets like this. Look, and they child not listening, listening to them no more. All right, the queen of cups. All right, so there was this queen of swords trying to tell this child to block out a queen of cups. Now, this is another woman in their life. All right? This could be related. They related. This child could feel like this is their real mom type of energy. It's spirit. The queen of cups is spiritual. They love it. 
All right, so this could be like um a sister, a, a brother, like a family thing. Okay, Queen of Cups, um, Queen of Swords, where this child love whoever this Queen of Cups is. They feel like they more fun. They definitely feel protected in spirit. They the go to this child goes to this person when they need something or when they need healing. So they 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 was telling the child to block out this Queen of Cups energy for a certain reason. Maybe they were jealous. Oh, look, because they got the this Queen of Cups is stable. It is something that this person was telling this child about, about the Queen of Cups. And this, this child is realizing, uh-uh, why y'all telling me to stay away from her? And she's good. Everybody in her family is living abundant. Everybody in her family is creative and established and living free. Y'all, let me tell y'all, it's something about they was trying to keep something away or keep this person away from you, like trying to block you out. And you coming in, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. That's like, oh, I want to go over there. Or I want to go over there. I, I, I like being over there with them. Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups. No, give me more on this Two of Swords. Why did this person want them to, they wanted this person, this, this Page of Cups to give you the bare minimum. And like not say nothing to you, Two of Swords. Wow. Y'all. You are an angel in this person's eyes. It's looking like you are there for them in spirit. You're able to teach them about spirituality. Okay? Look, and this queen of swords, again, with the suit of swords, feels defeated. They are jealous. They are jealous that you are more connected to spirit and that you're able to guide this person in a different way. This is just somebody jealous of their parenting skills and how somebody can't be kept away from you because they now are grown enough to make decisions for themselves, Ace of Swords. You have been nothing but a guide for this Page of Swords energy. Your home is a safe place, all right? You have a lot of resources, all right? And you are the Queen of Cups. So to, to, to literally secretly tell this Page of Cups to stop talking to you, they couldn't even try to make your own children try to look at you a different way. And they like, get the fuck out of here. All right? My mom is good. Okay? She's good. All right? They try to tell you secrets. They try to tell them secrets about you. That's what it was. They were trying to tell them secrets about you. And it simply was not true. The Queen of Cups is coming out as somebody so loving that somebody that is protected and that is a guiding force when somebody's learning about their spirituality and journey. Your foundation, you unlock your Ten of Pentacles. This is generational wealth. So you knew, you know you're doing something good. All right. They, they was telling secrets about you, unfortunately. Spirit, why, why, why was they telling secrets to this child about this Queen of Cups? Because you stopped talking to them. This is family. This is a lot of love here. You had to literally make a decision and walk away because it's looking like you loved yourself more or something. Or the, the, the relationship that you had just wasn't worth the pain that she was going through with this person. All right. So you walked away and you bettered yourself. Look. The nine of cups to the eight of cups. You walked away eight of cups and trusted that your intuition was telling you to leave this queen of swords alone because everybody understanding now they're going through a tower. You walked away and you became happier. You became more abundant. All right. You became more connected with God. You found your belief. You solidified your position in life and all your wishes is coming true. Nine of cups. So they probably just triggered that you're not talking to them no more. Or you just emotionally checked out. But that don't mean that it's beef. That don't mean you got to try to turn a kid against you. So you in your happy space right now. You are very comfortable and planted where you at. And you getting money as the Queen of Pentacles. You're very solid in your career. You got the Queen of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles to the Nine of Cups. That's like the universe and everybody in the world. You serve conspiring on your behalf. All right? You are loyal. All right, you're very down to earth. You're very giving. All right, you're very just humble. All right, so 
this was just somebody trying to infiltrate a, a child's mind with a lot of dark shit and a lot of un, untruthful shit because somebody else is living a different life and is it is influencing probably that child to become better in a certain way and it's really really they're losing control and power over that child's mind all right because that child is now seeing what's right they're like oh whatever secret you told me about this queen of cups if they so bad why they in the queen of pentacles um nine of cups and y'all in the ten of wands <laughs> if they so bad why is all their answers being blessed by God and now they're living financially free? They're happy. They're following their, their goals and their gifts and their talents. They, this is the questions that are being asked. And a page of swords is going to inquire about these things because they want to know the truth. So that's what I have for you guys. This might not resonate with a lot of people because it's given like this is like a a family issue or maybe a friendship type issue where um, somebody's child loves you. And because you're not emotionally there with them no more, they try to say a lot of secrets about you or just period a lot of people. All right. So um, make sure you make no story fit your story because some of these readings is, is touching on certain topics. That y'all need to know the underlying issue of. So that way you can find the solution. But this child is speaking up for you. Because you've been nothing but good to this child. Alright. The wisdom. The knowledge. Alright. And the gifts that you've been given to this child. Also the inner nine of cups. Very pleased. Alright. So I love you guys. And continue to be that person.